When severe weather hits the Queen City, you know you can turn to our WCNC weather team to get you the latest updates. But what happens when you're caught off guard by a strong storm? Meteorologist Chris Mulcahy shows us some common signs in this week's Weather IQ. When it comes to severe weather, it's helpful to know what to look out for. Here are three clouds you need to know about to become more weather aware. Let's raise that weather IQ. Number one, shelf cloud. The shelf cloud is an impressive, ominous cloud telling us strong winds are possible. The cloud physically is a shelf on the leading edge of a line of storms such as a squall line or a cluster of thunderstorms. These are most common during the summer months. This is where the outflow and the downdraft of a storm are. Sometimes they can develop these long horizontal lines called striations. Number two, wall cloud. If a wall cloud is rotating, it's the best identifier that a tornado is possible. This is the lowering of a cloud where the updraft and inflow of a storm is located. There's a lot of movement here, and when they are rotating wall clouds, funnel clouds and tornadoes can descend from them. These are likely found in the south or southwest side of a storm. Brad caught one of these recently on our Dallas Skycam on May 6th. That's what we're looking at right there. That's the wall cloud. There is some rotation in the base of this cloud. And number three, Mamatis clouds. The Mamatis cloud is often a sign that a strong thunderstorm is close. They look like little pouches hanging down from a cloud. These clouds aren't threatening, but if they're produced, there's a lot of instability present. Looking at the supercell diagram, Mamatis are most prevalent on the leading edge of a storm's anvil, but sometimes appear on the back side of the storm after it passes. Identifying these three clouds is absolutely crucial for storm spotting and a great way to be more weather aware. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy with WCNC Charlotte.